So I give him the pizza and it was already paid on a credit card, but he didn't tip. So he's like, give me a second. Let me go get your tip. So he closes the door. And then about 30 seconds later, he comes back and he opens the door (laughs) and he opens his hand and it's just a a few pills. And he's like, do you want these? I'm like, uh, so yeah, pizza delivery is a hell of a thing. For those of you guys who have delivered before, I'm sure you've had your crazy stories I delivered for about a year, and I definitely have my share of crazy stories involving drugs, naked people, more naked people, (laughs) more drugs. But yeah, some weird things happen, and today I'm going to tell you about the story of one of the weirdest things that happened, which is when some guy... I don't want to spoil too much, actually. I'm just going to leave it there. You guys will have to listen. So I specifically remember this entire day of delivery, and I remember that I had three deliveries before I delivered to this guy, and they were all not very important except for the fact that all three of them didn't tip me, fucking assholes. But that's standard, you know, especially in the place that I deliver. But this one house that I went to was actually in a really nice neighborhood, so I didn't think anything weird would happen, right? All the crazy drug stories that you hear, you know, like the last video was in some fucking voodoo shack in the middle of the Ugandan jungle, right? Like that, I can understand. But this house was actually in a really nice neighborhood. It was in some gated community that had like a yacht club and shit. So I was like really, really shocked that anything would ever happen at a place like this. So I go to this house and they ordered several pizzas it was an expensive order again that's a sign that you know it's fairly wealthy people when their order is like $60 or something like that it, it didn't seem like any kind of alarm bells were going off for me it was this really nice house very well well made well colored just like very beautiful house again nothing suspicious no alarm bells nothing and I answer the door and I just start hearing yelling going on already it's this guy and this girl And they're just, they're just like bickering and I can hear it in the background. And then uh, they don't answer the door yet. So I knock again. And then finally this guy answers the door and he's like really, really, I guess kind of like twitchy and kind of like, he's not himself, but I don't know whether it's drugs. He could just be autistic or something like that. I really don't know. I can't, I can't quite tell yet, but he's not normal. He's a little bit off. Uh, he talks a little bit weird. He's got a weird sense of humor. He likes uses these weird words with me. And, uh, so yeah, I have the pizza there and then his mom just starts like yelling at him. Right. And then he closes the door on me. So it's already like this weird family. Like they just shut the door on me right away. And then after a few minutes later, the guy opens the door again and I hand him the pizza. Right. And he's already paid for it on his credit card, but he hasn't tipped me yet. So he's like, uh, just hold on a minute. Let me go get you your tip so he closes the door and then again i hear this bickering and yelling between him and his mom and some time passes on and then finally he opens the door again and his hands are closed like he's got a fist in his hand right just as if he's about to punch me but he's not gonna do that spoiler alert he doesn't punch me or does he no, he doesn't. Anyway, his his fist is closed and he he opens up his fist and there's four pills, four of them, right? And they all they're all the same. And he's like, "Uh, do you want these?" And I'm like, "Uh, uh." He's like, "They're Vicodin." And here's the catch, guys. Here's the fucking catch. Uh, this is a whole different story on its own, but I have had Vicodin before, right? I've had Vicodin and I know there's different variants of it, um, but I know what Vicodin pills look like, right? Because I had a surgery before, essentially they tore apart my asshole, and uh, it hurt like fucking hell, and they gave me a bunch of morphine at first, and then they gave me a bunch of Vicodin pills, like a bunch of Vicodin pills uh, for months afterwards. And I have had Vicodin pills before, and I know what they looked like, and these pills did not look even close to Vicodin pills. So I don't know what the f- fuck those pills were but they were not vicodin pills i guarantee you that not one bit whatsoever so i'm just like yeah you know what man i appreciate the offer but i'm gonna have to pass thank you though he's like are you sure they're worth a lot of money also false vicodin's not really worth that much um so i i don't know what the fuck was going on but then his mom starts yelling at him because apparently she sees that he's offering me pills so his mom is like comes to the door and then 
she starts yelling and just gibberish that I don't really understand. And then the guy closes the door and then he comes back later and he's like, I'm really sorry, man. We don't have any cash and uh, I appreciate the pizza, but you know, have a good day. And that's it. So... <laughs> This was so fucked up. Like, I don't even know what those pills were. If you guys, they have a guess as to what those pills were, I'm really interested in the chat. I'll try to describe them for you. Vicodin pills are like oval type pills. These were really small round pills. So I wonder what they were. You guys in the chat can go ahead and try to guess as to what they were. But anyway, if you guys enjoyed this story, feel free to like it, subscribe, share it with your friends, check out any of my other stories, videos, all that YouTube bullshit crap I mention at the end of every video because I'm a whore. And if this video, this is a challenge guys, but I have a really great story coming up here. If this video could hit 1000 likes, we, we smashed it. I know all these YouTubers say smashing likes. I'm gonna hop on the bandwagon here. We smashed it. We hit 1,200 likes on the last video when we only needed 669. So if we can hit 1,000 on this video, then I'll go ahead and tell you guys the story of my first time going to a strip club. That's a fun one right there. There is lots of alcohol and women involved. So 1,000 likes for that. And I'm also gonna be doing a small giveaway as well right now. So the link is gonna be in the description. It's gonna be for a $50 gift card of your choice. It's gonna be really easy to enter. All you have to do is check out the description um, and that's that. It's just a little giveaway, a little token. I've been doing some giveaways on other channels just as a little bit of promotion and a little bit of fun. So I'll do one on this channel because I've done one on several other channels. So I might as well do one on this channel. So if you guys are interested in some free stuff, definitely check it out in the description. It'll take you a few seconds. And yeah, that's that. So thanks again for listening, everyone. Have a great day and I'll see you all later. Take it easy, everyone. Protest.